Welcome back everyone to another downward day. And boy, today's felt a little bit more downward than a lot of the other ones this week. A lot of strange stuff going on. Woke up to a tornado warning this morning. Not exactly the best way to start the day. And then the Queen of England died. Just to give you an idea of what day I'm recording this. But this is actually one of the first downward drives I've done since I actually started posting videos to the channel. And I gotta say the response so far has been quite good, pretty encouraging. And from the looks of it so far, it seems like I can get these videos out semi-regularly. So that's a good sign. I'd like to be able to make this channel fairly consistent in the amount of content I'm putting out. And with this channel finally being up and operational, I got to take a first look at the new Downward Diary comments. And one thing I immediately saw a lot of you guys bringing up was somewhat of an elephant in the room. So longtime viewers of the main channel may know that I already have a second channel. It's a channel I opened way back in 2011 called Emperor Lime. And way back then I opened it because my main channel had two strikes and there was a fairly decent chance that it was going to get taken down and I would just have to start re-uploading and posting all the new videos on Emperor Lime. So it basically just started as this backup in the event that my main channel got taken down. And for a little bit I was actually using it as my main channel for watching content because I don't know if they do this anymore, but back then when you got two strikes on your account, you would be literally locked out of your account for like three months or so. So for about three months in the summer of 2011, Emperor Lime was actually where I was signing in to watch all my subscriptions and stuff like that. But after enough time had passed, the strikes expired and I went back to business as usual on the main account and never really got that close again to having it taken down. And so once it became clear that my main channel wasn't really in jeopardy anymore, the status of Emperor Lime shifted more towards putting out deleted scenes, shit posts, little extra bits and pieces of memes and edits and remixes I would make that didn't really fit on the main channel anymore as I was shifting more towards longer videos. And for pretty much the last 10 years or so, that's what it's been. Short videos, memes, shit posts, collab entries, weird experimental proto emplem and commentary videos. Very sparse, infrequent uploads. But yeah, basically for about as long as I can remember now, the channel has just been the destination for the island of misfit toys. Or I guess more appropriately, misfit video projects. And over the years, the channel slowly grew a semi-sizable audience. I think the last time I checked it had around 30,000 subs. I think one of the videos on that channel randomly got like 5 million views. Just a really stupid and idiotic video that's only like 16 seconds long. And for a while it was like the second most viewed thing I ever uploaded to the internet. Because this one video just so happened to get added to the important videos playlist. And uh, YouTube viewers from the cool era of YouTube will know what I'm talking about there. But yeah, over time, Emperor Lime got a decent amount of viewership, which I think raised the question among a lot of viewers as to why not just upload these videos onto Emperor Lime with an already pre-established audience built in. You know, wouldn't that make a lot more sense? You start off with a bit of a viewer advantage sort of baked in to when you're starting out as opposed to just starting with zero viewers and zero subscribers and having to claw your way all the way up from the very bottom. And I guess to try to answer that concisely, I'd say that there are certain intangible benefits of starting out fresh that really, for me, outweigh the alternative benefits that you get from having an older, more pre-established audience of viewers. I personally just find it quite satisfying to start off on a brand new channel. You know, there's no potential baggage or growing pains that might come out of releasing a whole new style of content on an audience that frankly aren't really interested in watching it. And I mention that from some sort of experience because the old state of the YouTube podcast channel 
Rusty actually opened that up on the back trail of a pre-existing channel he had with 160,000 subscribers or whatever. I imagine that you're all very confused right now. I think it was some kind of old channel for the knife game or some sort of exclusive showcase for knife game videos. So that channel ended up being abandoned and eventually we were toying around with the idea of what exactly to do for the state of the YouTube podcast. I think Rusty and I differ in this specific approach where I was sort of more leaning towards opening up a fresh channel for the new podcast and Rusty just wanted that group of built-in viewers to start off with. And so the Knife Game channel basically had all its content privated and unlisted and that became the new channel for the podcast. And starting off, yeah, the viewership was decent. There was that little built-in cohort of people that transitioned from that one audience to the podcast audience. And there were benefits of that for sure. But it was somewhat frustrating to me how it basically took a year, a full year for the old audience of that old channel and whatever they remember subscribing for to actually fully cycle out into the actual dedicated podcast viewers. And for basically that whole first year, every single video in the comment section, there would be a bunch of confused people saying, I don't remember subbing to this channel, what is this? And yeah, in hindsight, they were pretty justified to be confused. I mean, you sub to this channel, it stops uploading, you forget about it, and then all of a sudden, you see this whole different type of content in your sub feed with a whole different name. I mean, as a viewer, if I was into that kind of stuff, I'd probably be pretty confused too. But yeah, from the creator perspective, it was definitely pretty annoying. Where eight, nine, ten months in, you'd still be getting comments from people like, what is this? And it's like, geez, you think these people would have been weeded out by now? But uh, no, it, it took quite a bit longer than we expected. But yeah, I guess in addition to the cosmetic annoyance that some of these confused viewers provided, I had a feeling that it did sort of lead to further complications in the overall health of the channel. Where I'm pretty sure that channel had negative subscriber growth for as long as it was up. I think maybe towards the very end, before the show ended, the subscriber growth was finally positive. But pretty much for as long as I can remember, the sub growth on that channel was in the red. Because people who had subbed originally, looking for more knife game content and not seeing it, they were unsubbing as soon as all those videos came out. And that to me always bothered me, made it pretty demotivating to work on the videos. Because psychologically as a creator, you want to see positive growth on the channel. You need to see those metrics. That's the carrot at the end of the stick that keeps you walking forward. And to just look at the metrics every month on the Sodi channel and see minus 900 subs, it was definitely discouraging. It definitely felt like being sort of in this purgatory stage where it's like, okay, when are all these guys gonna finally leave and the channel can actually get to the point where it's the podcast audience and podcast viewers are tuning in. It was like we had to spend all these months waiting for the channel to actually become what it was supposed to be in terms of the audience that was attached to it. And that whole deal just didn't end up sitting right with me. Where I was always more under the mindset of like, why not just cut the crap immediately and open up a new channel just to begin with? Where right from the beginning, the people who are going to want to tune into the podcast are subbed to the podcast. And you can avoid this whole other X factor of all these people who are subbed to the channel but don't actually care about what's being put out. And you actually get to have a clear picture of whatever your momentum and progress is at, as opposed to it just being this guessing game where, oh, is our audience actually growing even though we had minus 900 subs for the past month? I just prefer to take all the guesswork out of it, you know? Start the new channel for the new content. Just have everyone get off on the right foot, have everyone be on the same page going forward, and your trajectory will be a whole lot smoother than just dumping a whole entire new series on an audience that realistically most of them, the vast majority of them, aren't going to care. And I talked about this in my last video about audience interaction, where you ideally want the audience to consistently tune in and you don't want that huge chunk of people to tune out as soon as you try something new. And basically, when you go through the process of recycling an old pre-established channel, you're setting yourself up for just that. And as I said before, 
as a content creator, that's gonna be something you wanna avoid. And so yeah, that's basically why the new Downward Diary videos are here and not on Emperor Lime. At the very beginning, where we're at now, they're not gonna get as many views or as much attention or whatever. But long term, I'm of the belief that starting off a new, fresh channel is gonna work out a lot better. Simply because you have that audience that you start off with from the very beginning and they're gonna know what to expect later on. And to me, that's gonna matter a whole lot more than having an incremental bump in viewership for the first few months. So if you're an aspiring creator out there and you wanna branch out and make a whole different type of content, don't listen to Rusty, listen to me. Just open up the brand new channel. You'll feel a lot better about it later on.